morning, everybody. I've decided to, um, I've been, like, waking up early now and, like, trying to anyways, but I want to incorporate more of my, um, my witchy life, all that stuff into every day. And every year I buy the Witch's Spell Day Almanac. You know, it's, it's no big biggie, but it's, it makes it a routine and it makes you like, you know, put thought into it. Say, so, okay, this is what I'm gonna do today, right? Um, and from there you can sprout other stuff. Like tonight, I'm going to be doing um, a video. Yesterday I did a DIY on home protection charms. I'm gonna do one for, for, for prosperity today. And that comes from this book, uh, Magic Almanac. So the reason I say this book is because um, there's different things that you can do in here. And uh, I will go through this. So each day, I'm going to so try. Each day, I'm going to make sure you guys know what the spell of day is. So I'll do that in the morning before I go to work. Um, so that way you can do it at any time during the day. And then I'll go through this one and let you know what this one says for the, today as well. Okay, so today's is, it's actually a pretty easy one. I'm not going to actually do it because it takes, on my computer, like on my internet, it takes forever. Like, I have to call it in, so I'm not going to bother doing it. Um, so what this is, there's one printed every year. They're always different colors. Okay, this one's purple. Last year was like a a brownish yellowy like a rustic color more or less so it starts with a note on magic and spells so like a little note from the author then it goes into spell a day icons right so today's is this one home right and tomorrow's I looked it up already and it's the earth element right there as well as Spells at a day, spells at a glance by date and category. So if you're looking for a healing spell, it kind of basically tells you when all the healing spells are, okay? So it says 2019 year spells. Basically it starts for January. Gives you a little bit of history about the month of January. Um, and then starts in, so let's go to April. So it goes here, April. And it talks about, uh, this month we move from dark to light, from cold to warm, from brown to green. April is a magical month that starts with April Fool's Day and ends on the eve of May Day. It begins with a joke and ends with an outdoor sleep out. Here in Ontario, Canada, that's where I am, the average temperature at the beginning of April is close to freezing. Yep. It's common to have snow on the ground throughout April. A magical transformation occurs. The temperature climbs as high as 66 degrees, which is 19 degrees Celsius. And flowers bloom post equinox the day grows longer between april 1st and 30th the daylight increases from 12 hours and 46 minutes to 14 hours and 8 minutes as the sun travels northward it climbs in the sky not only do days lengthen but shadows shorten uh, as well it is invited to get outdoors like the plants that need sunlight to conduct photosynthesis we humans need sunlight to help manufacture vitamin d this month, make time to enjoy the outdoors. Get out in the daylight, take evening walks in the twilight after dinner, and con contemplate your garden, and turn your face toward the sun at every chance. With winter coming to an end, now is your time to transform. And it tells you who wrote the, that. So it kind of gives you a little thing about April. Okay? And it will start like April 1st, April 2nd. So we are April 25th, we're on Thursday. So if you look here, um, it will give you like the moon, which is its waning moon, okay? It will give you the color of the day purple. So even if you can't do anything here, like any spells at the moment, you can just like incorporate the color purple into your wardrobe for the day. And you know, that's good enough to start guys, seriously. Um, Thursday, incense of the day is apricot. And the spell of the day, I'll read it out. So if you guys want to do it, at least you can. Just remember, I'm going to do this in another video, actually, so you all can come back and watch that one. So the Wi-Fi Witchery Spell is what it's called. An effective witch will use whatever tools they have available. Sorry about the noise, guys. Why not put your Wi-Fi signal to a magical work? Uh, these home networks can be named anything, so why not make yours a new type of sigil for your long-term goals? What do you want to attract? Money, opportunity, health, protection, 
choose a word or a short phrase that speaks of this goal, and then make this name the name of <coughs> the name of the Wi-Fi network. This will be broadcasted by your router and can be picked up by those around who are looking for a Wi-Fi signal. Making sure you have a strong password. Enchant this name to be a beacon that attracts the qualities it represents by placing your hands over the router and saying, A beacon of invisible light, shine your charge between the worlds and draw to me which I invite by name, by sign, by holy words. Okay, I did say it out loud, sometimes you're not... You know what? I know they say like you can't say it out loud and stuff if you the spell words, but I do because I'm not actually doing the spell. Um, so I do. If y'all are not comfortable with that, let me know, and I will actually write it out in the description. Not a problem. Refresh the spell monthly. Okay, this one was written by Storm Fair, Fairy Wolf. So each one is created by a you know by a fellow witch. Okay, so that is that one okay so that's for today um let me see the back of the book has spell notes you can like write notes like make it your own like write on the book it's okay uh, i'm trying to see if there's any other great information okay so there's a glossary of magical terms so aura casting a circle sensor sensing centering yourself all right here on the back of the book okay uh the moon signs so because this one said the moon sign is, let me see, a Capricorn, because it gives a little symbol. So it gives you the astrological symbols, okay? So you'd look at the symbol, it's Capricorn. And then the moon sign is here, Capricorn, okay? So you would know, develop strong structure, focus on traditions, responsibilities, and obligations. A good time to set boundaries and rules, okay? Let me see what else this book has. And that's it. Daily Magical Influences, because th today's Thursday. So Thursday is Jupiter, expansion, money, prosperity, and generosity. Uh, lunar phases. So it's the waning moon today. So the waning moon, from full moon to the new moon, is a time for study, meditation, a little magical work, except magic designed to banish harmful energies. So that is your spell a day with this book. Um, blessed be, and we'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's. Bye, guys.